But we start first at four with breaking news as Indiana State Police investigating an officer involved shooting on Indy's southeast side. We're told it started after a chase involving Beach Grove Police. Our Michael Van Skoik is live from the intersection of Emerson and Raymond where that chase ended. Michael, what have you learned so far? Nick and Aaliyah, right now we know ISP is handling this investigation. They tell us it ended right here. That chase ended right here at Raymond Street in Emerson. Now, police say Beach Grove officers fired at least one shot at the suspect who was injured during the altercation. ISP says this all started after a chase. Earlier this afternoon, Beach Grove police began that pursuit around 1230 this afternoon. Now, ISP says Beach Grove officers spotted a car matching the description of a stolen vehicle. Officers attempted a traffic stop, but say the car then took off. ISP did not know the exact location of where the pursuit started. However, they say the chase went through several streets in the area around here. Investigators say Beach Grove police attempted several stop maneuvers as well when they arrived here at Emerson and Raymond. It was ended with a, a pit maneuver, which is a precision intervention technique that they used to, to get the vehicle stopped. When the officers uh, got the vehicle pinned in at the final location, the, uh, the, the suspect vehicle then began ramming the, all the officers' cars that were there. Now, right now, uh, ISP says that after the, st uh, the chase ended here on Emerson and Raymond Street, that's when the officers fired at the suspect. ISP did not confirm whether the officers struck the suspect, but did say the suspect did have a gunshot wound. Meanwhile, police say those officers do have body cameras. That'll be part of their investigation. We know that no officers were injured in this incident, and then that suspect is said to be in stable condition right now. Reporting from the east, southeast side, Michael Van Skoik, Fox 59 News. Michael, thank you. And of course, Michael will be staying on top of that investigation for us into the evening. You can follow along on air and online at fox59.com for more updates.